I'm gonna prove to you that phone manufacturers actually fake their moon mode. And everything I say would just be an expanded argument as my initial shorts video about this same topic. So this Huawei P30 Pro was advertised to take really good moonshots because of its 5X optical sensor, which remains impressive to this day, but it's not capable of taking highly detailed photos of the moon. If you take a photo of the moon using pro mode, you can see that the photo instantly loads, and this is the result. With AI scene detection on, the phone recognizes the moon, and it takes time for the photo to load because it's adding details to the photo. Here's the comparison, and you can see that AI scene detection added too much detail to the photo, whereas the pro mode doesn't have these details. These photos were taken at 50x digital zoom from this 5x optical sensor, which is 8 megapixels and is a type 1 over 4 inch sensor. This sensor is way too small and is way too low resolution to take photos of the moon that will result in a crisp photo like this AI scene detection photo. And for reference, the sensor size of the 5x sensor is the same size as most 2 megapixel depth sensors. And a digital zoom of 50x from the 5x sensor means the sensor will capture about 0.08 megapixels based on these calculations from focal length with the sensor having a focal length of 135 millimeters and a maximum of 1343 millimeters at 50x zoom. So you're really telling me that this highly detailed shot of the moon with 0.08 megapixels worth of detail equated to this result. No, that's ridiculous, but others argue that it's computational photography, so that's how we get a highly detailed moonshot. The argument to this is more about the phone guessing where the details on the moon are, and then it adds them. The problem is that this computational photography is way too accurate for it to randomly guess where the craters on the moon are, that this processing is consistent every single time you take a photo of the moon, because computational photography isn't consistent. It's supposed to have slight variations from time to time, and computational photography doesn't add details like these to your photos. It only sharpens existing details and denoises them. And again, this sensor is 8 megapixels and is not capable of seeing this amount of fine details. You might also say that it's an upscaled image, especially since the photo is actually upscaled to 10 megapixels. So what I did is I downscaled these photos to 0.1 megapixels and I threw them to the upscale app to be grown to 25 megapixels using the real EarthScan model. You can see that the image is just not right. It looks washed out and artificial for both the pro photo and the AI scene detection photo. And the real EarthScan model is a class leading model for image upscalers and definitely beats out the tech Huawei had back in 2019 when this phone came out. Or you might say that it's hybrid zoom, meaning the 40 megapixel sensor is being used to enhance details taken by the telephoto sensor. But at 50x digital zoom, the main sensor can only make out about 0.016 megapixels worth of details, which is ridiculous. And just for fun, I try to recreate the experiment set by iBreak Photos, and it doesn't look like Huawei added details in this scenario. But that doesn't mean that everything I've been talking about is wrong either. I even took photos of a clear, downsized moon on my monitor, but nothing to report here. These results don't mean that you should hate your phone or anything like that. It just means that we have all been lied to, and you should make your own judgment about moon mode going forward. I personally am fine with this because even though these shots are faked, it's still kind of fun to just take a photo of the moon whenever you want to.